the hairdressing industry, I don't think people understood how powerful it could be until you see really how powerful it can be. My name is Nick Berardi, I'm an East Coast boy, and now I'm a transplant here in Los Angeles. I'm the founder of NickEducation.com. I was living above a hair salon in Cliffside Park, New Jersey, and um, there was this guy downstairs, his name was Frank, never forget him. Knocks on the door, crazy, his receptionist just quit. So he goes to me, Nick, come downstairs, I need a receptionist, come down. Just answer phones. And then I said, no, I don't, want to, I don't want to deal with that. He knocks on the door 10 minutes later, he goes, look, I'll just pay you, whatever, come down, answer phones. So I said, okay, went down, answer phones, as a receptionist, and I saw all these cool looking people, I saw these guys dressed up, cool, beautiful women, music was happening. It's like, kind of like a rock star industry. So I said, that's what I want to do. And that's what I did. I started from that time and went to hairdressing school. What got me into Sassoon was um, I, I, I needed more. You know, I was in New Jersey and um, I needed more. I, needed to, I wanted to travel the world. I really did. I, that's really what I wanted to do. That was the thing that sent me to New York City to like be an assistant and start all over again. I literally got rid of my clientele and started all over again. I became a, a pretty good educator and a pretty good public speaker and Sassoon started to uh, recognize that and they started sending me on you know, shows all over the world. So literally, my scissors have taken me globally all over the world a couple of times over. Sometimes you gotta take a lot of steps back to move forward and that's what I did. from shooting photography. I got to see editorial feeling now, which hair that looks great in a magazine. So I've learned a lot from that. Once you start to understand the techniques behind something, you can do everything. When you learn to reverse engineer everything, you have like the magic bullet. I love my Type K uh, 5.5s. So I like one scissor, really, and I have a lot of them backed up, so this way they're always sharp. I like to use one scissor, and I like a scissor that's not too small and not too big. I feel that if it's too small, um, it's not gonna work for my hands, because my hands are pretty big, and if it's too large, I kind of feel for me that I'm not as precise. I'm a little, it's a little bit more, linear, it's a little more chunky, and I like to, uh, I like a, a medium-sized blade so I can cut more curves. I feel like with a medium-sized blade you have a little bit more control. I think it's important for any stylist to see what's comfortable for them and what works for them. Again, yeah, this hairdressing industry is a big industry and it's not only about what I like, it's important to see what works for you.